Um, welcome to another topic, which uh, is the chapter 6 of our uh, discussion, which is the, or we're going to tackle the crimes in the modern world. So, at the end of this chapter, the student should be able to understand transnational crimes and organized crime and comprehend white collar crime or corporate crimes so at the end of the video or as we go along with the video uh, we're going to discuss transnational crimes the organizational structure of the organized crime group the white collar crimes and other uh, corporate crimes or conventional crimes so let's start uh, so what are or what is or what are trans transnational crimes so transnational crimes these are crimes that take place across national border so when you say from the word trans so diba so it's it's another or crimes are crossing from different borders so say for example when you say transnational crimes so when you say uh, you have a drug cartel in the philippines and your drugs is also transported in Thailand. So it can be considered as transnational crime because you are crossing another border. Okay, so this also include but not limited to illegal drug trafficking, money laundering, terrorism, arms smuggling, piracy, kidnapping, trafficking of persons, and cyber crimes. So these are violations of law that involve more than one country in their planning execution or impact so it so crimes in the or transnational crimes does not only include or does not only specify at least at least one country they also included other countries or included different or across borders in their planning and execution of the crimes Okay, so these offenses are distinguished from other crimes in their multinational nature, which poses unique problems in understanding their causes, developing prevention stages, and in mounting effective adjudication procedures. So next, according to the United Nations Convention of Transnational Organized Crime, an offense is transnational if it a is committed more than one state so that is true uh, b it is committed in one state but a substantial part of its preparation planning direction or control takes place in another state so, so good example for this is can uh, drugs are transported in in the philippines but the drugs was formulated in thailand for example so diba? Uh, during the preparation and the planning of, of, of the drug trafficking organization or the drug trafficking, they include more than one border. Say, for example, the Philippines is uh, strongly uh, prosecuting those offenders who are found to be involved in organized or drug organized crime trafficking or drug organized trafficking or organized drug trafficking say for example and there uh, the place where that drugs are formulated or kung asa ba na nagikan or asa gigama ang drugs is uh, in Thailand for example and it was transported in the Philippines so that already constitutes a transnational crime so it is committed in one state but involves an organized crime group that engages in criminal activities in more than one state and it is committed in one state but has substantial effect in another state so that are uh, the characteristics of a transnational crime next what is an organized crime so Organized crime is the unlawful activities of the members of a highly organized, disciplined association engaged in supplying illegal goods and services, including but not limited to gambling, prostitution, loan sharking, narcotics, labor racketeering, and other unlawful 
activities of members of such organization. So when you say organized, uh, the ba? A group or when you say organized, it does not uh, explains or entails only one person. When you say organized, it's a group, group effort. So when you say uh, organized crime, it there should be a leader, a secretary, and its soldiers. Okay, so that is an organized crime. So it's it is also a criminal activity by an enduring structure or organization developed and devoted primarily to the pursuit of profits through illegal means. It is sometimes referred to as the mob, the mafia, the syndicate, or the Cosa Nostra. So that are the common names of the organized crime groups in the world. So example na kanang mga Cosa Nostra, mafia, syndicate, the mob. Yeah, so those are a uh, criminal organized group whatever be the name the organization is known to be formal with division of labor so formal division of labor uh, because uh, the labor was divided into the different members so lahi ang lahi ang in charge ani lahi ang in charge sa isa ingana so with coordination of activities through rules and codes and with allocation of tasks in order to achieve illegitimate goals. So the organization seeks profit from crimes and tries to prevent itself from threats, prosecution, and even punishment from legal authorities. So that is an organized crime. Next, so it is so as you sh as as shown in the presentation, this is an example of a structured, organized crime. So there is the boss, the conciliere, or the concilier, or muna siya ang gitawag ito, right hand, or kanang gitawa, and the next is the underboss, o diba? So nasi mga members, so na gitawag na ito, soldiers, soldiers, and the associates. So structure, of organized crime group, the group may be characterized as persons of decent character with formal education, having its own social classes from gangsterism to racketeering. So they are uh, with professional status, formal education. So, di ba, ang ato ang mga gitawag na tuog uh, mafia or crime syndicates. They, this is an example of an organized crime group. So, how does an organized crime group works? So, unsa kuno ang ilahang uh, buhat or trabaho? So, first, we have the so-called an enforcer. He is the one who make arrangements for killing and enduring, whether physically, economically, psychologically, the members or non-members. So, he is the enforcer. So, if ever... Uh, the members of the organization or the members of the organized group siguro na siya na nabuhat nga sayop sa ilahang rules o di ba si the enforcer is in charge to uh, arrange of killing or enduring whether physically economically or psychologically the members or non members so uh, kan is enforcer mura ni siya og kana mga uh, gitawag na to og police officers ug sa ato pa ang gobyerno so they enforce the laws and they punish those who disobeyed the laws so mo gyapon na siya sa organized crime group second a corrupter so he is the one who bribes buys intimidates threatens negotiates and sweet talks into relationship with the police public officials or any else who might help the members' security and maintain immunity from arrest, prosecution, and punishment. So, kana si corruptor. So, he is in charge of the business negotiation, protection from their businesses. Diba? So, a corruptee, a public official, usually not a member of the organization family, who can wield influence on behalf of the organization's interests. So, a corrupt, he is not part of the organization, but he holds uh, he holds the key of uh, 
the organization's interest. So whether he is the head of a certain bureau of the government. So, diba? If he is not part of the he is not part of the organized group, but uh, his field of work gives interest to the uh, organized crime group. So, diba? Muna siya ang so that is how the organized crime group works. So, uh, today that uh, presently or today that coronavirus is uh, happening and uh, the we cannot easily travel. So, diba? uh, do you believe that uh, organized crime group also has challenges samot na karon kay ang ilahang uh, ang ilahang mode of transportation they only rely on uh, sea sea route when you say air maglisod naman ang mga organized group to transport their goods or this uh, uh, goods like for example drug drugs or arms smuggling so diba maglisod na sila when they travel air, kay wala na kayo biyahe ang mga aeroplano. O, uh, and the borders are closing. Diba? So, their their number one target is kanang gitawag na to, og sea routes. They are using, using maritime ships to transport their goods like drugs or arm, arm smuggling. So, and uh, those also recent kabalita karon is those... Uh, Crime organized group are using couriers, couriers like LBC, JNT, mga ninja van to transport to transport the uh, drugs to the consumer. So ing ana na ka, ka upgraded no ang ato ang organized group para sa iyang lahang mga consumer. So kanay tinuod na siya in the black market. So, tinuod na siya nga naay ingani. So, what are the characteristics of an organized or organized crime? So, first, it is a conspiracy activity involving coordination of members. So, it's a conspired coordination of members. So, nag-coordinate ang members, ingana, ingana. So, that is one of the characteristics of an organized crime. Second, economic gain is the primary goal. So, economic gain, so, syempre, ang profit. So, economic gain is achieved through illegal means. So, they are going to achieve economic gain, economic stability, but the number one factor is only illegal. So, organized group uh, achieve economic stability, economic profit, economic gain through illegal means. Fourth, it employs predatory tactics such as intimidation, violence, and corruption. So, of course, dili mawala sa crime groups ang gitawag na tuog, threat, intimidation, or they're going to use violence. Okay? Next, effective control over members, associate, and victims. So, they have the uh, control. Next, organized crime groups does not include terrorists dedicated to political change. So, these organized crime groups are different from those kana mga political groups. So, they are in, in no way, uh, like for example, kanang ISIS, they are not, they are not uh, directly related to uh, loan sharking or loan sharks or uh, drug traffickers. So, they are not into political change or political gain, but they are into economic gain. Okay, so that are the characteristics of an organized crime group. So, what are the generic types of organized crime? So, what are the general types of organized crime? So, first we have political graft. It is manned by political criminals who use force and violence of a means to obtain profit or gain in achieving political aims or ambition. So, for example, vote buying. So, isa sa nang uh, political graph sa uh, mga trabaho sa uh, organized crime. So, there are certain organized crime that also focuses on uh, political aims and ambition. 
So, di ba, na sila yung gusuportahan nga isa ka pangulo, for example, because that pangulo may may protect may, may protect their businesses. So, di ba, yung na ang ilahang uh, gusto nga achieve when they uh, include their, themselves in political uh, political in achieving political aims or ambition. Second, predatory organized crime or mercenary. These are crimes committed by groups for direct personal profit but prey upon unwilling victims. So, kanyang mga predatory organized crime, they their victims are unwilling or gipugos ba? Gi-extort ang victim. Muna gitawag sila og extortionist. Mangawat ka, kahit kung di ka mangawat, pati yun na mo iwang pamilya. So, diba? Gi-extort. Unwilling ang mga victim. So, that are called predatory organized crime, mercenary. Third, in-group oriented organized crime. So, these are groups manned by semi-organized individual whose major goals are for psychological gratification such as adolescent gangs. So, for example, kanang gitawag na to motorcycle gangs. So, sila ang gitawag na to in-group oriented organized crime. So, naanak sila yung mga subculture groups. ba? Or subculture groups no nga uh, can be considered also as an organized crime tungod kay uh, they have the boss they have the members ingana so last is a syndicate crime so the group with a formal structure an organization that participates in illicit activity in society by the use of force threat or intimidation mauna ang 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 syndicate crime Next, so, wala na copy, wala na dili makita ang kanang picture, no? But it is, we are now under uh, white collar crime. So, mauto ang, ang organized crime, ang organized crime or kanang transnational crime. Organized crime is also a, considered to be transnational. Muna ang itawag na siya og transnational organized crime. Because organized crime groups, uh, transports their goods and services across border. Okay? So, muna siyang gitawag o transnational organized crime. Next, what is white-collar crime? So, white-collar crime has been associated with the educated and affluent ever since the term was first coined in 1949 by sociologist Edwin Sutherland. So, Edwin Sutherland coined the word white collar crime he defined it as crime committed by a person of respectability and high social status in the course of his occupation so this is not committed by blue collar crimes or this is not committed by ordinary people but this crime is committed by high respectable individuals in the society from the word uh, white Color crime. So mostly those person who commits crime, kanang mga nagtay uh, from the word color. Singa na. White color crime is only committed by those people who have or who has a high respectable or is highly respectable in the society. So White collar crime is a non-violent crime committed for financial gain. But they they argued in this when you say non-violent crime, so committed for financial gain. So what what if the the bank was closed because of ingana uh, committed by white collar crime? So those families who are affected, wala na trabaho, so ingana. It may not be non-violent eh, in the in the concept of Polay masakitan, but what are the what? But there are persons who may suffered from the loss of job. Tungod kay ang ilahang uh, bangko ng gitrabawan is na bankrupt. Poy nga na. Okay, so that is a white collar crime. Next, these crimes are characterized by deceit, concealment, or violation of trust. So, of course, it uh, deceit, ilad, concealment, tago, or. Uh, Trust is violated. Next, the motivation for these crimes is to obtain or avoid losing money, property, or services, or to secure a personal or business advantage. 
So examples of white collar crimes include securities fraud, embezzlement, corporate fraud and money laundering. So kaning ma ma money laundering ang ang magukod na mo ni mo ani sa ato ang government is the AMLA or the anti money laundering uh, association or council, di ba? So sila ang ang ang, ang magukod ni mo aning money laundering. So from the word launder, so, kanang gitawag na to og launder. Ang 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 kwarta is kanang labhan. Not not the literal nga labhan. So, from the word or money laundering refers to the gains of of the uh, illegal business transaction. You you launders that that mo na uh, What after you launders it mo na say ibutang ni mo sa imuhang uh, uh, corporation nga kintahay imong gi 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 kuan sa sec. Uh, for example, so um, for example, uh, the money that came from arms smuggling. So, kanang kwarta na imo na siyang a launders. Imura ba siyang labhan? I process o niya musulod na siya sa bangko ng imo hang gideclared ng imo hang illegitimate business kintahay. So, di ba? So, mo na siya example of or that is how anti man or how money laundering work so from the word launder the the money was being processed or kanang from literal na word nga gilabhan okay from dirty money that becomes a clean money okay uh, nag nag nagpatuo ka ba nga uh, this corporation or this business is kanang gideclare nimo nga ning ana but not knowing Nga ang kwarta di ay ngagikan sa iyong business is from illegitimate means. So, from dirty money, labhan, muna siyang mahimu na siyang clean money. Muna siyang gitawag og un money laundering. So, what are the forms of white collar crimes? So, first we have corporate crimes. Kanang mga gitawag na to og corporate crimes. Second, we have or Corporate crimes, the violation of a criminal statute, either by a corporate entity or by its ex executives, employees, or agents acting on behalf of and for the benefit of the corporation, partnership, or other business entity. Next, environmental crimes. These are violation of criminal laws, which although typically committed by businesses or by business officials, may also be committed by other persons or organizational entities and which damage some protected or otherwise significant aspect of the natural environment. So, kaning, for example, ano ito ang environmental crimes? Those are kanang mga uh, white-collar crimes who are after money, not not knowing ang ilahang, di ba, uh, uso sa una ang gitawag na toog smuggling of kaya, mga turtles or toy to, tortoise di ba so gi smuggled na siya sa una so kinsa may so who commits kinsa may ma, makakuha na ng financial gain it's either under ba siya sa DNR or na by certain nga company nga na, naka benefit ana so man siya gitawag og environmental crimes crimes committed uh significant aspect of the natural environment next occupational crimes any act punishable by law which is committed through opportunity created in the course of an occupation that is legal next we have so what are the classification of occupational crime so morning first we have the organizational occupational crime these are crimes committed for the benefit of the entire organization in such instance, only the organization or the employer, not individual employees. So, what is the Organization, occupational crime. Crimes committed for the benefit of the entire organization. In such instances, only the organization or the employer, not the individual employees. So, only ang maka benefit, it's only the employer or the organization, not the employees. Okay? Next, state authority occupational crime. These are crimes committed by officials through the exercise of their state-based authority 
Such crime is occupation specific and can only be committed by person in public office or by working for such persons. So state authority occupational crime. So maybe uh, this may be committed by uh, public officials like for example ng ambassador or who is working for the ambassador with the benefit of the uh, uh, occupation specific. Next, professional occupational crimes. So, kanang gito. For example, kanang state authority occupational crime. Uh, for example, na ni dool ni mo nga expired ang passport. Uh, you are working in the ambassador or or imong gi 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 or nagtrabaho ka sa embassy, for example. And that 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 person or that fil Filipino worker ni dool ni mo mga yung tabang. Instead nga uh, imo siyang tabangan imo siyang gi-forward sa uh, sa sa isa ka illegitimate nga mo process sa visa oh, for example ha or sa passport in exchange of a large sum of money so that that uh, crime itself can be considered as a state authority occupational crime because that involves diba white collar crime involves concealment deceit and kanang pag break sa trust okay next professional occupational crime professional occupational crime these are crimes committed by professionals in their capacity as professionals the crimes of physicians, attorneys, psychologists, and the like are included here. So, kanang mga professional malpractice. Like, for example, ang doctor gaopera, kunya, uh, nasayop siya o, uh, or nasayop, or ang doctor, so she is a doctor, or he is a doctor, and he prescribed ang medicine nga layo rakaayo sa iyahang sakit. But tungod kay dako kag commission ana so mo na siyang imong gi prescribe so it can be considered as a professional occupational crime last is the individual occupational crime these are crimes by individuals as individuals which include income tax evasion theft of goods and services by employees the filing of false expense report and the like so kaning individual occupational crime uh, for example a certain uh, Bato de la Rosa, wrongly, uh, ang iyahang gisuwat sa iyahang salen, ang iyahang gideclare sa iyahang salen is uh, dili sakto. So, he committed tax evasion, ingana. So, that is considered as an individual occupational crime. So, you committed a crime in the course of your occupation. But, the soul or Ang, ang isang uh, nabiktima is you or ang uh, ikaw nga na himong uh, perpetrator. Okay? So, that is the individual occupational crime. So, what are the types and schemes of white-collar crimes? Ano sa kung mga types and schemes of white-collar crimes? So, first we have the bank fraud. Bank fraud, this means to engage in an activity where the purpose is to defraud a bank so imo na siyang i, i, i defraud next blackmail a demand for money or other consideration under threat to do bodily harm to destroy property to accuse a crime of a crime or to expose some secrets so imo na siyang i blackmail uh, klaro na kayo ang blackmail no if dili ni mo na siya if di ko di mo tagaan ng kwarta, for example, akong expose ang imuhang nude pictures. So, that is already considered as blackmail. The third is bribery. You may be charged of bribery either you accept or offer any goods or money in return. So, when you, uh, this bribery, if you are in a position and you accept monetary goods or in exchange of your service, you can be uh, you are liable for bribery, whether it's direct, indirect, or qualified bribery. Bribery. Not be qualified. Oh yes, uh, indirect or direct, indirect, and qualified bribery. Next, we have cellular phone fraud. So, sa cellular 
phone fraud. So, na ay mo kalit nga, mo text ni mo. Uh, mo text ni mo nga. Kani, uh, padal ikog kwarta kay namatay si akong lula na ilubong na sa dayon in ikaugma. Wala may panggasto, pangbayad sa ingana. So, that is already a cell phone fraud. So, di ba na ay mo kalit og text ni mo not, not knowing nga uh, or waka kaila niya, o mo-reply ka, mo na na siya, padali kong kwarta, kay para makuan na niya na. Pero kung ikaw, dili ka vigilant nga, pagkatao, uh, mailad yun ka, if, if, imo sang, before ka mo, mo, mo padala o kwarta, imo sang sutaon kung, that the, the person nga yung gi, gi, gi imply is, a close relative ni mo, o yung So, Kana mga nga na, mostly ka na mga lagyo nga relatives with us. So, imo na siyang, before ka mo, mo either mo patol ang nga text message, so, imo na siyang i-clarify. Imo na siya mga example o cell phone, phone fraud. Next, we have computer fraud. So, computer fraud ka ng mga in a form of mga, for example, credit cards. For example, na ay mga malicious email. Uh, ang iyang link is Uh, ang iyang ang iyang giingon is kanang your your the name of your bank but the 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 IP address or the kanang iyang kwan ba email ad ng gigamit is questionable so eh, butang ato ang ang iyang ang iyang kwan is PNB ang iyang bank but sa na receive ni mo nga uh, or computer fraud can either be in the forms of virus na imo kalit og appear sa imong screen o imo appear kay og screen so imo na siyang tuplokon uh, uh, for example og imo na siyang tuplokon it's either maka kuha na siya og private information sa imong uh, sa imong computer di ba na for example na imo kalit og appear nga click me unya dua to siya for example but that kuan nga nagsikag dua naka Uh, rotate na na siya sa imuhang or nakakuha na na siya o private information sa imuhang computer. Okay, so that is an example of computer fraud. Next is counterfeiting. Sa mga mga counterfeiting. So, mostly ane kanyang mga kwarta. Gi counterfeit ki pike ang atuang uh, reserve, national reserve. So, nabi uban nga mailad aning ang kwarta nga pike. So, ba? Diba? That is another type and scheme of white collar crime. Next, we have credit card fraud. So, credit card fraud, samot kamot na karon that credit cards are mostly transacted or are commonly transacted online. So, if dili ka vigilant sa imong credit card o niya mapad, mapadali, mapadalaan ka og mga suspicious email nga ang ang iyang email is is from a legitimate bank name o ang iyang IP address is questionable dili siya secured so if imo na siyang matuplok pwede niya makuha ang imuhang uh, personal information sa imuhang credit card so ibadag ka na kay nahitabo ana nga natinga sila that that their credit cards kay dako na sila byron non na nya, wala sila nagamit so there are certain instances nga na fraud na sila na sila ay credit card fraud Uh, of course, kisa may mo bayad. Diba? So, syempre, ang tag-iya sa credit card, not knowing na na-access na di ay sa mga malicious uh, malicious email or hackers ang imuhang credit card. So, beware gitaan na sa ato ang credit card that is transacted online. Next, kanang currency schemes. So, kanang mga currency, kanang mga exchange of dollars. So, nga na. So, appeal gya po na siya sa Uh, scheme sa white collar crime. Next is next is embezzlement, extortion, forgery. So kanang forgery ka ng pagpiki sa perma or may yana. Or kanang example kanang cheque. So kanang cheque imo na siyang giawat ang iyang perma sa katong tagaan nimo. So ang bis kay that 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 check is a uh, forge. So Imbis kay uh, dilit na siya man ni mo makuha but you have the access and you forge the signature so isa na siya sa uh, scheme sa white collar crime next is kanang healthcare fraud so kanang healthcare fraud so mostly ani kanang mga donation so they are 
Hintay, for example, nag naghimo ang isa ka organization og illegitimate nga organization or it, it, illegitimate nga non-government organization. Say so, for example, nagpost sila og uh, relief operation in Pampanga. Oh, for example, that is uh, so no, lakbay for example, ha, lakbay agabay foundation. So Nagsigin na sila og pangayo og kanang mga donation. But not knowing agatong nihatag og mga donation unregistered dito siya nga foundation. So, syempre na ilad na nga na or or the foundation or kanang uh, foundation was not registered or kanang naay naay na isa ka sponsor ba ang isa ka foundation unya tanang mga transaksyon gi kadtong uh, kadtong tawhana nga nitabang sa foundation ang nagbayad so not knowing that that certain foundation was not registered or it's only a illegitimate business okay next we have insurance fraud so kanang mga uh, insurance fraud so mupalit kag kotse or any other forms of nga mahal nga mahal nga like sa pagkagbalay or host and lot pa kay kotse na gina say kaakibat nga insurance and make sure that that insurance is legit or kanang tinuod because there are also uh, crimes that involves insurance fraud so if maaksidente ang imong sakyanan imbis kay gukdo nimo ang insurance not knowing nga that insurance company is not or mura siyag nawa nga parang bula ba so nga na so or maybe that that insurance company is not registered it's only a illegitimate uh, name or nga na uh, during pagpalit mo og sakyan na nagpakita siya nimo ay ngani ma'am i am from uh, sun life or for example a uh, sun life company uh, if mo palit ka og kotse ay ngani ang mabalik nimo mo bayad lang ka sa insurance mo ni ang per month nya once nga imong kotse na disgrasya na Imbis kay mo kuha ka og insurance, pagbalik nimo ay sa ilang office, wala may naka naka nakapuyo diri nga kanang insurance company ma'am. So nailad na ka that is called an insurance fraud. Because your car, samot na kong brand new, apil ya po na siya sa insurance. Okay, under na siya sa insurance. So if nakaayuhon or na disgrasya with kanang legal means ang imong sakyanan so pwede pa dio magukod ang imong insurance kay nagbayad man ka og uh, insurance sa imong sakyanan next uh, money laundering so kung ingon kini ha from 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 dirty money it gilonders may mo na siyang uh, clean money next racketeering security fraud and tax evasion so tax evasion kanang dili nimo sakto gi declare ang imong assets liabilities and network net worth so kanang imong pag declare og salen samot na kung public official so uh, you are uh, tax evading next what are conventional crimes so conventional crimes are are groups of crimes categorized as some violent crimes so kanang gitawag na to og index crimes and property crimes next conventional crimes are traditional illegal behaviors that most people think as a crime. Most crimes are conventional crimes which include murder, rape, assault, robbery, burglary, and theft. So cyber crime is just another conventional crime committed with high-tech devices. So cyber crimes are generally defined as any type of illegal activity that make use of the internet, a private or public network, or an in-house computer system. It also refers to all activities done with a criminal intent in cyberspace. So, who are the uh, kinsa may mabuhat ane? Kanagitawag na to hackers. So, mostly it is done through internet, through the internet. So, muna ang mga cyber crimes. So, conventional crimes also are violent crimes. Kanagitawag na to index crimes like uh, criminal acts like manslaughter or kanang murder. Uh, rape, homicide, so manay gitawag na to og index crime or violent crimes are criminal acts which in the threat or actual physical harm by an offender to a victim that includes 
domestic abuse, child abuse, elder abuse, and others. So, kaning conventional crimes, uh, these are crimes nga wakakaibaw nga crime din siya. Uh, like, for example, you are only using the internet. Ni view ra ka ang ani nga kuan, not knowing that you have already committed cyber crime. Because ang nibawon lang ni mga crime is murder, theft, ting ana ra nga crime. So, these conventional crimes are are, are crimes in the modern world kanang gitawag na to. Okay? So, kanang gitawag na to og child abuse, whether kanang 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 bata a imo ra siyang gipasakitan og storya. That 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 child was already abused psychologically. That affects his or her mental development. So, ba? Not knowing ang imo harang nahibaw-an nga common crimes is theft, murder, homicide, ingana. Not knowing that 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 the ones you have uh, committed are also considered crimes. Mungkaning gitawag siya og modern world crimes. Okay, so these are the crimes in the modern world. Or kanang apil po ng elder abuse. Kung wala na nimo suporta a ang imuhang ginikanan. So apil na siya sa crimes. Next, property crimes or kanang gitawag na to og non-index crimes. Crimes of economic interest includes includes those crimes that would most commonly be categorized as theft in ordinary language. It includes but not limited to offenses such as unlawful entry to commit theft, shoplifting, vandalism, and arson. So, shoplifting is na siya sa uh, considered to be a non-index crime. Muna ba shoplifting sa una? Ang shoplifting sa una, ah, uh, shoplifting karon sa una kawat na siya but it was uh, named shoplifting kay naka sa shop uh, nagtanaw-tanaw kay magkuha ang item with either any monetary value nga na so that is uh, more siya gidefine ba uh, crimes are being defined into the modern worlds but mura gud yapon siya pagpangawat nga na so Vandalism and others. So, there are two types of uh, property crimes. Unsa ko na mga two types of property crimes. So, first, we have the occasional. Or it includes but not limited to offenses. So, there are two types of property crimes. First, we have the occasional property crimes. Shoplifting, motor vehicle, theft, and check forgery. So, di ba? Ang pag-awat ni mo sa perma, kana siya karon check forgery na na siya. So, yun nga na ang, ato ang, uh, kawat mag na siya, kawat sa perma ni mo. Diba? So, that is also considered an occasional property crimes. Next, conventional property crimes. These are burglary, the unlawful entry to commit theft, fence, larceny, the unlawful taking or attempted taking of property other than a motor vehicle from the possession of another by steals without force and without deceit with intent to permanently deprive the owner of the property. So, conventional property crimes, example, ang nakanang fencing. Ano sa manang fencing? Kanang item niya, gikawat niya, gibaligya, gipalit ni mo. Knowing that, uh, that the item was stolen. So, di ba? Uh, apil na siya sa conventional property crimes. So, that are the crimes in the modern world. So, di ba no? Uh, we have known only crimes that are murder, nga na, but as, as, as the world is evolving, as we are techno technologically evolving, as well as, so as well the crimes. Sa mota ka nagitawag na to, oh, cyberspace, cybercrime, crimes through uh, the internet. So, diba? Those are eh, the crimes in the modern world. So, anong itawag na to og transnational crime, transnational organized crime, white collar crimes, and other conventional crimes. So, that ends our lesson on the crimes in the modern world. So, I hope you have learned something and see you on our next video. Bye!